Well, hello, my friends. We are going to talk about the transition of a schema as one moves through life. And as you noted in some of our last lectures, a schema is nothing really but a, a cognitive filing cabinet by which someone may choose to classify uh, interaction with their environment. In this particular case, we again have little Rusty, and here he is in his diaper, and he has the most important thing in life, schema. And this little schema it has his most important thing, which in this particular case is a bottle. Now, do you think that as little Rusty goes through life, that his most important thing, is, schema, is still going to be classified and have a bottle in it? I don't really think so. Here we have young Rusty. And the most important thing that this little nerd has is this good-looking blonde that is in that. Uh, I fondly remember those days. I don't know if you ever heard the story about the old preacher that stood up and he told his congregation, I'm going to shout out a word. And when I do, you stand up and call out the song that comes to mind. And he said, said salvation. And somebody stood up and said, amazing grace. And he talked about service, and he and somebody stood up and said, let's sing only trust him. And then he cried out the word sex, and an old woman stood up and said, precious memories. Okay, that's enough said with that, but it's really kind of cute, isn't it? Look at the transition in these, in these two schema, schemata. In the first schema, most important when we have little Rusty, is this bottle. He lives for that bottle. And then here we have young Rusty, and of course he's interested in the opposite gender. Now, let's move on to middle Rusty. Oh, man, he likes that fast race car, doesn't he? I hate to tell you, I don't know. I couldn't figure out whether I'm in this one right here or in the next one. I certainly can be seen with that cup of coffee. And then we get to old Rusty, and what do you think that is up there? That, my friends, is a warm bedpan. Now, what Piaget observed is that as people go through life, schema undergo transitions. And it's not necessarily that one schema, the schema other one just vanishes. It is that it, it grows and it's enriched by the experiences of life. Now, it's very interesting here. Uh, trans schema go through transitions. But so does an individual as they go through life in the manner in which they think. What Piaget really accomplished with this is that he said and indicates for us or, or taught, uh, implied, and I may be paraphrasing him, but that children are not just little adults. Children think differently than adults. Children are going through stages of interacting with their world, and the schemata which they develop become more and more complex, and the complexity of these schemata and the transition of these schemata mean that a person goes through stages naturally, stages of development. So in our next little exciting discussion, we're going to look at some of the stages that Piaget identified. And in this course, each of those stages will soon be a major module of study, which we will examine in detail. Hmm, I might ought to let all of you vote as to where I am in this scale, but I sure do like warm bedpans. You have a good day.